Welcome back. In a previous video, I showed how FFmpeg can merge a video file and an audio file. This is all part of my YouTube tools series. Something else that FFmpeg can do is it can actually stream to YouTube independently. So you can take multiple inputs and stream it to YouTube. This is actually going to be a multi-part series as I show each of the different ways that FFmpeg can stream to YouTube. And this could also go to stream to anything that uses the RMTP protocol. Let me show you the script that I made. I'm going to use Nano to edit it. Is uh, y2.sh. And this is not a function script because... I'm not going to put my stream key in here, and for, I'll show you some other reasons why this won't actually work. It's a bash script. You would put your uh, streaming key from uh, YouTube in there. So what we're doing here is we're actually using the X11 Windows Capture feature. As I'm editing this file, I realized that I forgot to mention something. Since we're using the X11 screen grab feature, this will not work if you have a Wayland Windows Manager. If you go into Settings and you scroll down to About and then you scroll down to where it says Windowing System. If it says Wayland here, it will not work. At least this is where you can find it in GNOME. If it says Wayland, there's a different process to do that. And if you would like to me to do a video on that, Go ahead, put that into comments. And while I'm here, there's one other thing I want to let you know. Uh, remember how I mentioned that I couldn't use the microphone that I'm using here? And the reason being is that whatever is the default. So this is the internal microphone and this is the USB microphone that I was using for the capture. Not the USB microphone that I'm you're hearing right now. So I'm actually recording this separately and merging them together. So those are two things I just want to throw in as I'm editing this. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to editing this file, which is uh, called X11 Grab. And we're grabbing the screen and putting it onto YouTube. You would find out your screen number and your display number. And we can uh, discuss how we can find that information. To find the display number... You can look at the variable display, and it'll tell you that it's display 1. And the screen number, you just have to play with the default is 0, but you'd have to play around with that. The input frame rate is needed in other aspects for this script. We don't need it, but I'm just leaving it in there because the variable doesn't hurt. The screen resolution for the system I'm using right now is 1366 by 768 otherwise i've used other things that were 1280 by 720 which is all basically 16 by 9. again the output frame rate not using just yet if you use the frame rate you would use this flag here the dash frame rate and if you don't want this to immediately as you run the script you can add a sleep command. Now, a reason why you may want to do that is as soon as this script starts running, it shows your stream key. And you may want to close that window if you're going to do that. Each of the arguments is separated on a different line, and you just use a backslash to say that you're continuing the line. Of course, we're running FFmpeg. The dash RE is to sync up the frame rate and it's needed for YouTube. If you don't put that in there, it won't trigger for the stream to start. Same thing with the probe size for 10 megabytes. You could probably change the size, but I needed to put this in here. Otherwise, everything on this side looked like it was working fine, but YouTube just wasn't re registering it. The format we're using is this X11 grab, the dash F, as I mentioned in the previous uh, video, is for format. The video size, this is where you would put the resolution, that output resolution that I have up here. Then the I is the input. Where is the input? It's the display number dot the screen number. So that is the video portion of this. Now, it doesn't record audio with this. And when I tried to run it just like this, it again, YouTube wasn't recognizing it wasn't 
enabling it. And part of the reason was that it needed audio. I am using the ALSA audio and I'm using the plug HW and the first uh, device, the first card. I can't remember how they phrase it. And I need to use plug HW and not just HW because it was... This is a USB microphone, and I think it was taking in too much input, so I needed to tell it to just do the input from the plug HW, which won't be covered in this video. Parts of the uh, ALSA and, and part of the Pulse audio system is doing. Now that we have that, and I could have put this on two different lines when I was typing it up. I just typed it on one. That's fine same thing i can do with some of these other ones now the output video is going to be in flv format the audio filter i'm using is here and that's because of the usb microphone that i'm using not the one that i'm that you gotta hear right now but the one that i have connected to this machine and i can't use the same microphone for both because it will give me an error that it's being used so i'm using a separate microphone for doing this and then the output file and that's going to be an rmtp and you could use rmtps if you want to use a it as secure and normally you would for youtube it would be a dot rmtp dot youtube dot com slash live two and your live stream i am just gonna basically dump this to my local host using the RMTP protocol. And RMTPS uses the secure port 443. We are going to change that to RMTP, which uses port 1935. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, you can either make it an executable, but I am just going to run bash. And if I run it right now, you get this error and see how it's looking for port 1935 on my local host. It's not active right now. Let's go to the other tab and we are going to tab and we're going to run netcat. So we're going to run netcat. We're going to use the dash L flag to listen and we're going to listen on port 1935. And we're just going to leave that listening. And now if we run that script again, it's just going to hang here because it doesn't, it's not getting the full protocol. But what I want to show here is that you may get some errors like it with that input stream. It's coming in as stereo, but it's not coming in as stereo. So there's other uh, items there. The Here's the plug HW for the audio and then it's broadcasting out. Now, if this was actually running, you'll see, you would see the line here saying with the URL, the rmtp slash localhost or a.rmtp.youtube.com and your stream ID. So that's why you, if you want to add that sleep for 10 seconds, you can. Normally to get out of it, you would hit Q, but because this is just stuck in an endless loop and it hasn't started, control C. And like you said, like I said here, you'd see the stream key also. This is just one way of doing it from one input. You can take input from a webcam. You could take input from a capture device. Or what I'll be showing in the next video is taking an input from a video and also taking sequential inputs. So go ahead and subscribe if you want to see that. Once that video is posted, it'll show up on your uh, screen. Otherwise, uh, until then, it'll be the video that Google, YouTube, Alphabet, whoever it may be, decides that it's the best video for you to watch. Thank you for watching this one, and you have a great day.